The debate over health care is inspiring one doctor to join the fight at the highest level. Meet Dr. Mike Contran, an Orange County, California pediatrician, who was inspired to run for office when she realized her patient who is diagnosed with a brain tumor could potentially lose health insurance under the Senate GOP health care plan. Dr. Tran is hoping to unseat 13-term Republican Congressman Ed Royce in the midterm elections, focusing her platform on health care. The road may seem long for this political novice, but Dr. Tran has beaten the odds many times before. She came to the United States, for instance, from Vietnam as a refugee at nine years old. She cleaned bathrooms, dorm rooms, as a janitor, working her way through Harvard University. Dr. Tran is also a two-time breast cancer survivor herself, and she became a mother at the age of 46. Dr. Mike Ann Tran joins us right now, and I'm sure, doctor, a lot of people say that you should be wearing an S, right? Uh, an S t-shirt of some sort. No, excuse su me, su why? Superwoman, superwoman is what I'm saying for all oh, the things that you've done here. <laughs> well, well, thank you, Richard, for saying that. But no, I, I am a, a typical woman in this country. I mean, we, we do what we have to do to, to take care of our families, to take care of the people who are important to us. So, so if that makes me super, gosh, I am with a, a group of super uh, women and, and men. So um, well, thank you, though, for the opportunity to talk to you today. And, and, and though I jest here, Dr. Tran, I, I really am very interested in what is making you change careers. You've put a lot of time into becoming a doctor. Now you want to run for Congress. And I don't know if you've seen the approval ratings for Congress. Not so high. Why do you want to do this? Well, Richard, I've been a pediatrician for 25 years. I've been serving uh, children of working class families um, in Orange County and Southern California. And then what I've been seeing in the past six months um, have really made me absolutely angry. I'm incensed and I feel like our leaders, our representatives uh, in my district, particularly Ed Royce, has been really callous um, to the needs of his constituents. Um, I think Americans, um, the children who are going to be our future, the women who are really the true caretakers, um, the elders who've given us so much, and, and the veterans who have fought so bravely for us, um, these Americans deserve better. And I want to be a voice for the people who I know are going to be affected by, by, by the GOP, um, you know, health care bill. Dr. So, Trang, and, and, and who, 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 what is the face? Who, who are these people that you want to represent, and what is the one issue that you would like to make sure to get their voice heard on? Well, I will give you a, a really uh, example of one of my patients. Um, uh, after the uh, November election, um, I saw my first patient uh, when I came into the office is a, is a child with a brain tumor. Um, her mom, who's a nail shop worker, finally had been able to get uh, health care insurance for her children um, because of the Affordable Care Act. And we looked at each other that day and, and just knew that it was going to affect her daughter's um, health and well-being for the next years. I think we did not realize how quick that, how quickly that was going to take place. Um, but that's the that you know these are the people, these are the working families that are going to be affected by you know the, the cuts that are going to be implemented if this bill passes. Um, and these are not people who are are too lazy or too um, too. You know, they are working people, working families and their children. So that's, that's one example. Um, uh, given my family's background, right. uh, my dad, who passed away two years ago, I remember daily, it was a daily occurrence where he would talk to me about how costly health care is and how he's so concerned about how he would you know basically wipe out everything they have and also how my mom's going to be taken care of um, once he passes so I know for him 20 years on a daily basis he was worried about the the cost of health care now I think that's so cruel and so it to have people it, 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 yes Richard. 30 seconds to you here quickly what would your father say to you about running for congress against a, a, a competitor that is very much a, a very tough competitor what would he say to you and what what you're doing today 
I think that he would be proud, actually, in heaven. Um, I think he would say to me, you got to do what it's, what's right. And the time is now. It's the right thing to do. You have to speak for, for people who haven't had a voice. And I know my dad believes in that. That's what he's always taught us with all of the things that we've gone through to get to where we are. I know he would say mm. that where he is today. Canada right. for Congress, Dr. Mike Han Tran, thank you so much for your time today. And that Thank does you, it Richard. for us this hour here at MSNBC. I'm Richard Liu in New York City. Stay with us for news updates throughout the breaks, uh, throughout the night rather. If news breaks, you'll see it right here. The Point is up next with Ari Melber. Stick around.